Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And this is the last video about differences in sexual development that stem from the adrenal cortex. Uh, the last few videos, we talked about 21 hydroxylase deficiency and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. And today we are focusing our attention on 17 alpha hydroxylase, which is a different deficiency than we saw with the last two. So the, the last two videos, we uh, talked about pathways that prevented production of aldosterone and cortisol and forced cholesterol into the androgen pathway. So we had an increased amount of androgens in the fetus. Um, typically that affects an XX fetus and makes them appear more masculine. Well, today, 17-alpha hydroxylase has a very, very different presentation, and this one can affect both XX and XY fetuses in very different ways. So looking at our pathway here, we're going to take out 17-alpha hydroxylase. And once again, if you feel comfortable uh, in knowing where this is going to end up, feel free to pause the video, see what you think the answer is, and then push play to see what my answer is. Um, but anyway, we have cholesterol, which will become pregnenolone. And this, we're going to have this in both XX or XY, but we're not going to talk about the differences just yet uh, because it'll come in the presentation and, and the pathway is going to be the same for both. But we have cholesterol. Cholesterol is going to enter and be converted by cholesterol desmolase to pregnenolone. Uh, same as we would always have. I'm going to change my color really quick just so it looks a bit different. So we have cholesterol. We have cholesterol desmolase. So we are going to make pregnenolone. We have 3 beta HSD that is functional. So we are going to produce progesterone. And the rest of this pathway is okay. We have all of these. So we can go through all the way to aldosterone. So we, unlike the last two pathways where we had no aldosterone, we do have aldosterone. But let's say we needed to make some cortisol. So let's say we have uh, some inflammation that we want to get rid of, or we're in a time of stress and we, we need some cortisol. Um, we can't go this way because we don't have 17-alpha-hydroxylase, which is our common enzyme to go from pregnenolone to 17-hydroxyprogenolone and also from progesterone to 17-hydroxyprogesterone. So we can't at all go to this cortisol pathway. So we can't do this. Can't make this either. We can't make 11-deoxycortisol. We can't make cortisol and we can't make cortisone. So we're going to have some issues with inflammation and with times of stress and blood sugar. Um, but can we use our 1720 lyase? No, because we couldn't take this initial step to even get there. So all of this is also irrelevant. So we can't make DHEA in the adrenal gland. We can't make androstenedione, and we can't make testosterone here. And let me give you a little bit of a disclaimer because um, this, this is something that happens in the adrenal gland, but we do have alternate pathways elsewhere to make androgens, especially in the testes. We have a different process there. And then we also make some testosterone in the ovaries as well. And we're going to cover all of that. So you're not going to be entirely without androgens, but you're going to have a significantly decreased level of androgens compared to somebody else um, without this deficiency. So as you can see, we have no cortisol and we have no androgens from this pathway, but as all of this is gonna back up because we can't go forward, so now we have to go backwards. So now we're gonna have increased pregnenolone, we're gonna have increased progesterone, we're gonna have increased 11-deoxycorticosterone, increased corticosterone, and increased aldosterone. So we're gonna have a lot of aldosterone, and if you remember what aldosterone does, um, you will be able to figure out how this presents. So let's write this all out. Our presentation. Let's say we have uh, an XY fetus uh, that has an SRY. So we're going to assume that this is XY plus SRY. They're going to have ambiguous genitalia. And they're also going to have undescended testes.
because um, testicular descent is related to testosterone and related to DHT. That is what stimulates the testes to descend. So we're going to have testes inside of the abdominal cavity, and we're going to have ambiguous genitalia. It's going to appear more feminine than what you would typically see with an XY fetus. And then an X, X fetus, so we're assuming somebody without SRY is going to, they're going to present typically how uh, females would present. They're going to have external female genitalia and internal female genitalia, but they're going to uh, lack secondary development. So this means when they hit puberty, we do see uh, some androgens being produced, and those do actually play a role in um, female puberty. So not having this testosterone or androstenedione dione um, is going to make an XX person develop um, less so than somebody who has an appropriate amount of androgens. So we're going to have less uh, sexual development in someone who is XX. And then just adding our other factors here. Wow, I cannot handwrite. Our aldosterone level is going to be high, very high, because that's where all of our cortisol is being shunted to. We're going to have low cortisol. And we're going to have low androgens. And along with that, so what's going to happen to our blood pressure? Since we have high aldosterone, we're going to have hypertension, high blood pressure. And with that, we're going to have high sodium. And we're going to have, once again, similar to 21 hydroxylase deficiency, we're going to have low potassium or hypokalemia. Or sorry, that's more similar to 11 beta hydroxylase because we have a mineral corticoid excess. So I hope all of this made sense for you all. And I hope you're having as much fun with these videos as I am. I think the next video, we're going to start getting into testosterone and estrogen production in the testes and the ovaries. So I hope you enjoyed all of this. Uh, leave your comments and questions down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a like on this video, and I will see you all in the next one.